The stranded ISS crew is to get a new spacecraft. Stranded ISS crew, Expedition 68 crew members, Dmitry Petalin of Roscosmos, Frank Rubio of NASA, and Sergio Prokopiev of Roscosmos are the people, the uh, astronauts that are in the ISS stranded. The uh, Soyuz MS-22 spacecraft, uh, that's where they boarded on uh, September 22nd, 20, uh, 2022. Rubio Prokofiev and Petalin launched from Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan for the mission to the ISS, but the Soyuz MS-22 sprung a leak, leaving the crew safe, secure, and sort of stranded now. Now Russia is launching another Soyuz on Friday, tomorrow, February 24th, to bring the crew home. But however, the Soyuz MS-22 sprung a leak, leaving the crew safe and secure, but stranded. The uh, stranded ISS crew, sort of, several media sources are reporting this week on an upcoming launch by Russia space agency Roscosmos to provide the ride home for two cosmonauts and one U.S. astronaut currently aboard the International Space Station, the ISS. The launch is scheduled for tomorrow, Friday 24th. And the space travelers, Roscosmonauts uh, Sergei Prokopiev, Dmitry Petrolin, and U.S. astronaut Frank Rubio on board the ISS. That's because the crew capsule that carried them to ISS, the Soyuz MS-22, sprung a very visible coolant leak in its radar cooling loop, apparently from a micrometeoroid collision that took place in December. The Russian ship had delivered the three new crew members to ISS September 21st, while docked at ISS, videos acquired in December of 2022 showed the Soyuz spraying a snowstorm of particles into space, and it turns out the leak was the reason, leaving the astronauts without a completely reliable ride back home. The crew's mission was supposed to end in March, and then Roscosmos made the decision to leave the crew in place until ISS in ISS until September. Still, in case the ISS needs to be evacuated, all concerned prefer that the crew have a fully functioning ship, of course. This Friday's rescue mission for stranded ISS crew, Roscosmos planning to send up another uncrewed ship to the ISS for the stranded crew to return home, and other vessels currently docked at ISS could squeeze them in with the four other crew members securely currently at ISS, but that option is not ideal. Roscosmos made the date of the uncrewed ship launch official this past Monday, February 20th, when the Russian state news agency TASS reported that the State Commission formally granted a uh, permit for launch, and so they are now scheduled to launch tomorrow. The three crew members, part of the seven-member team composing Expedition 68, were originally supposed to return to Earth in March 2023, and in the new plan they will extend their stay until September 2023. Space.com reported that the reason they are extending their stay in orbit an extra six months is because the next Soyuz, tomorrow's uh, launching, will stay docked at the ISS until its successor, a vehicle that will carry crew, is ready to go. Launch of the Soyuz MS-23 from Russia will be at 3.24 a.m. Moscow time, February 24th. That translates to midnight 24 UTC, 20, February 24th. The, a second leak in the meantime, in a second craft, February, Roscosmos detected a second spacecraft docked at the ISS was also leaking. So there's two leaks. This is the second leak. This second spacecraft is a supply ship named Progress 82 and known as Progress MS-21 to the Russians. The supply ship launched back on October 28, 2022 and reached the ISS without incident and docked successfully. After discovering the leak on February 11, engineers undocked Progress 82 from the ISS on February 18. They took photos to inspect the craft, then loaded with trash, Progress 82 fired its engine to deorbit, and less than an hour later it impacted 
in the Southern Pacific Ocean. This area is nicknamed the Spacecraft Cemetery because it is an uninhabited area targeted for re-entry of spacecraft such as the former Mir space station. Micrometeoroids likely are the cause of these leaks. Roscosmos believes the sources of both leaks are tiny bits of rock and other material in space. Micrometeoroids. I wonder if it's also space debris. But anyway, they say it's micrometeoroids. On February 21st, Anatoly Zak at Russian Space Web reported that Roscosmos said, based on the preliminary assessments of the situation with Progress MS-21 at RKK Energia, the cargo ship had experienced an inter external impact. This conclusion was made based on the photos which revealed changes on the exterior of the vehicle. The holes discovered on the photos after undocking had not been seen either during the manufacturing of the Progress MS-21 at the factory, nor during its preparation for launch, nor during its flight and docking with the ISS. And despite two recent leaks due to possible micrometeoroid strikes, all sources agree that the likelihood of another impact to the soon-to-launch Soyuz MS-23 is low. And this is from EarthSky on uh, Out of Mind 2. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box.